is our light box over here. And there's a bulb inside with a couple of doors that have mirrors on it to reflect the light in three different uh, tones, I guess, if you will. And uh, we're going to put some filters in to uh, do a, a little bit of work with colors. We've got a whole bunch of different filters. We're going to stick with um, just the primary colors of light. We've got a nice display of, of colors right here. So obviously uh, we have the, the, reds re the wedge representing red is over here uh, exclusively, right? The only part, the only beam hitting here is red. Um, green, I can close this door by the way, and you can see there's the combination of green and blue. In fact, let me, um, let me close the red door and there's our wedge of green. I can't close, the, there is no door for the green, so I can't close that off. But here is, uh, here is the blue wedge right here, so it comes across like this and out like this. And you can see there's a couple of different parts of the blue. This, is, this part of the blue is being reflected off of the mirror. But this part of the blue, much brighter, is a direct illumination from the light source right here. So we'll just pay attention to the part that's reflected off, I guess, a little bit. We can look at both, but uh, uh, what we're more interested in is where we get the overlay of the two. And then we'll open the door for the red. And now we st start to see some color combinations. So here is green exclusively. Here is red exclusively. Two different shades of brightness, but both red. Here's blue exclusively. Again, two different shades or two different intensities of blue, but still blue. Right here, we get an overlap of the red, right? The wedge of red is represented by this area that I'm sweeping out with the pencil. So all this is red is hitting the surface, but so is the green, right? Because the green is this whole central area right here. And so, uh, so we're getting an overlap of red and green right here. And you can identify that color uh, based on what you're seeing there. Let me pick that up a little bit to enhance that. See that uh, yellowish color? Over here, we have the green overlapping with the blue. Here's the blue wedge right out here. Actually, no, the blue goes all the way out to here. Yeah, it reflects off of the mirror and goes all the way out here. And so over here, we have an overlap. The red doesn't hit this area. And so this is an overlap of green and blue where we have that uh, teal color or cyan. I believe they refer to it as the cyan color. Yeah, they do um, on this. And then right here, all three of them are overlapping in this triangle out here. And that's, uh, that's white. We can hold that up a little bit more and we can see the white color right there. So, okay. So there's our color addition take a look at shadows but I want to let the lamp cool off here for a little bit so we'll come back to that all right so uh, what we're going to do next here is take a look at shadows um, so I'm going to put a cube in each one of these areas so I want you to, to note the shadows the color of the shadows I hope this shows up well let me uh, enhance this one a little. I'm going to tilt the paper up a little bit so you can see. Yeah, that looks nice. So uh, over here, of course, we've got red light. First of all, take a look at the object. This is a red object, right? So we, this is in white light, so we can see that it's a red object. And the light shining on the object. So this is red light shining on a red object. We see red. This is green light shining on a red object. It looks black to us. It certainly doesn't look red, right? And this is uh, um, blue light shining on a red object. And so it doesn't have that typical red color. We'll see how it looks on the camera a little bit later on. Um, okay, anyway, I wanted to point that out, that the object has, they're all the same object, same color object, and yet we can see there's a difference in the colors in, in terms of the appearance, right? Because red, a red object reflects, reflects red light. And if you're not shining any red light on it, then it doesn't have any red light to reflect. So these three over here are much darker in appearance. There's no red light bouncing off of them. But these three all have some red light bouncing off of them. All right, so take a look at the shadows. Notice the shadow here is, is black, now, you know, especially right in that area right there. Uh, we've got a green shadow over here. 
we've got a red shadow over here. So there's two different shadows being cast here. I'd like you to think about and be able to explain that. We've got, of course, just a black shadow here. We've got a black shadow here. We've got a black shadow. I mean, uh, it's, um, do we have black? Yeah, just pretty much black here. Whereas here we've got a blue shadow and here we have a green shadow. And then here we have part of a yellow shadow. Uh, here we have a, have a teal shadow, right? Here's a magenta shadow. Here's a red shadow. There's a blue shadow and there's a black shadow. Really some, some very interesting patterns here. So there's our color analysis, overlay, and shadows. Uh, and that's it. You can get a lot more involved in this, uh, but uh, we'll just kind of keep it simple um, for what we're doing right now.